What's up, guys? We're back with another episode of Pound for Pound. I am the Nigerian Nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Henry Cejudo, a.k.a. Triple C. And guys, it is Fight Week, UFC 300. A Shadow Line production. You know, I, I just feel like right now UFC is just breaking the bank every time. It's just blockbuster after blockbuster after blockbuster. And here we go again, UFC 300, what everybody has just been waiting for. The buildup has been exciting. It's been, I mean, look at the freaking card. Look at that damn card. Yeah. Henry, I mean, what you know it's a card. When you got two former champions opening up the pre... The freaking prelims? Yeah, yeah, exactly. First fight, Davison Figueredo versus Cody Garbrandt. I mean, these are two former champs that, you know, at one point in their in their career, I mean, they're considered they're in the top ten pound for pound list. One hundred percent. You know, Cody obviously, you know, having having you know winning the belt, taking it from Dominic Cruz, and obviously Davis Davison Figueredo, you know, beating Joseph Benavides, who had fought for the title for like four different on four different occasions. I mean, what comes to mind right now is, you know, obviously two former champs, but obviously the fact that what you just said, this is the fight that's starting off uh, the fight card is absolutely ridiculous. It is it is ridiculous, but I mean, I I almost kind of feel like this is this is a little disrespectful for these guys to be to be <laughs> the first fight of the night, though. Yeah, but you we gotta you gotta put yourself in Dana White's shoes. I understand. I, I, understand. I, think, I think he's doing this first fight on the pay per view. Yeah, but, but, first but I, fight I, I think I think he's doing this really to get people to really invest it on the whole fight card. You know what I'm saying? Because th honestly, this should be a this should be the first fight. If not, let's maybe the co code to the pay per view. Yeah, th this one hundred. This should definitely be. I think maybe first fight of the pay per view because both guys. You know, Cody. Cody is like um, I, I I compare Cody to uh, he's a. He can be turned into an angry bull. Yeah. You touch Cody in the wrong spot, or you you do something in there to Cody in the wrong spot. He turns into an angry bull, to where, in his mind, he believes his right hand can knock out a rhino, a right that right hand. So he doesn't care. He's gonna stand in there. He's gonna swing. Yeah. And so for a fight like that, that a fighter like that, that is such a great, just a fun fighter. First fight of the night. Like, let's look at that prelim. Let's look at that whole pre preliminary card. Okay, really, you you're gonna put them yeah, over? But that's what I'm saying. None yeah. of this, none, none, none of the, none of this, Kamara makes sense. But the fact that they yeah, just want to start card. off with the bang. That's it. There's no way Bobby Miller and Jalen Turner, Hanato, like, there's no way these. But, anyways, but they want to start off with the bang. These, yeah, you're right. But these are these are all banging fights. So if you you look at Jim Miller and Bobby Green. That's a that's a fight. That's a fantastic fight right there. Uh, veterans in the game got lots and lots of experiences. Um, yeah. That's a that's a freaking fun fight right there. But I still would rather put those two champions above this one. But it this is still a banging fight. Bobby yeah, Green and Jim Miller is a banging yeah, but, fight. Yeah, but yeah, but let's go back down to to the Davis and Figueroa and Cody Garber fight. I mean, this fight right here, Kamaru. I mean, you have a guy. And, and I train with Davis, Davis and Figueroa. I mean, obviously, he, he actually... What's his name? David, <laughs> <laughs> I call him Figueroa. You, you train with this dude, Figueroa. you don't even... You can't say his name. But anyhow, Davis and Figueroa, his, his, he's, he's got power in his hands, man. He's a one-hitter quitter type of guy. And not just that, but he, his wrestling entries have gone so much better. He has great jujitsu, great back control. He, he either tends to knock people out... Or he likes to submit. And now he's going up against a guy like Cody Garbrandt. A guy like Cody Garbrandt, as you said before, if, if if you can tame the bull and if you can make him tactical and technical, he's very, very dangerous. But if he does get in motion, he starts swinging like crazy, as we saw in the past tomorrow, Cody Garbrandt does get a little chinny. He does. He does. I agree with you. But I, I, I like the way he's been fighting now. You know, he's kind of just starting to find his footing again. And he's starting to find his, his groove to where he can actually flow through a whole fight and not get sucked into that 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 mental battle of we got to slug it out. Because, you know, you when you're in there and the fans start chanting your name, you know, you, you, you start turning into the entertainer. But when you start turning to the entertainer, you forget that, hey, I'm trying to go home with two checks here. So I like this fight. Banging fight. Both got power. It's gonna be uh, yeah. it's gonna be a great opener, and they're gonna be done early too, so they can 
They could come back they and watch the rest of the. Uh, you would think that they, but the UFC is gonna send them send their asses back home, <laughs> send them back to the hotel. So it's not as fun for them. But anyhow, moving on, Bobby Green versus Jim Miller. I tell you what, man. I will say this. I mean, obviously, that guy Lee, man, 15 losses and 17 losses to Jim Miller. Like, like there comes a point where you have to compete, and if you have X amount of fights in the UFC, like a guy like Jim Miller, you gotta start getting him nothing but dogs, dude. Like you cannot whoa, give whoa, him. Whoa, 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 whoa! You just cannot, Why? man. Why, Why would, would you because... give him nothing but dogs? Why would you start giving because him dogs? That's, because that's a lot of fights. Come on. So right. you're trying to just get him out of there? Well, he either has it. Or, or you don't. He's shown that he still has it. He's still able to take that much fights, that much experience, and he's still, he's still able to take on these young guys and get through them. Jim, I, I like it. I like the matchup. I think both guys are veterans. Both guys have a lot of lots and lots of fights. I, I like it. I like yeah. it. I don't see it. why. There's no need to give him dogs. He's Jim Miller's not out there saying, "I want give me the title." I want the title. He's not saying that. So why are we trying to throw him into Islam Makhachev or, or Armin Sarukian or Justin Gates? Because he has over thirty some fights in the <laughs> UFC, and you can't just be oh, giving just you can't that's, just be giving them newcomers. That's bully shit. Right nah, there, hell no, nah, no. Nah. I stick shit. to it. But whatever, man. Bobby Green, on the other hand, that motherfucker has fought everybody tomorrow from so Islam Makhachev asking for Khabib. I mean, this dude has fought the who's who's, but I think stylistically. Uh, if Jim Miller cannot get his grappling going, I just feel like a guy like Bobby Green's got power in his hands, and I can see Bobby Green just having a little more grit on the feet. So for that reason, Kamaru, I got to go with Bobby Green. I love Bobby Green too, but um, I don't know. I think that's going to be a, a very interesting fight because of the grappling of Jim Miller. I think that's going to be a very, very interesting fight. So, so we could agree to disagree. We, we, you we'll, say we'll, we'll keep... think. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. We'll see how I feel. We might do another prediction coming up, Coach. We'll see how I feel. Dude, we got to start putting our bets here. Come oh, on, we got is... to start making this shit fun. If dude. we put bets up here, you're you're way behind. Come on, in Miami, hello, you're way behind. Come on. <laughs> but we gonna right. slot to this other fight. Jessica Andrade taking on Marina. Rodriguez, I like both fighters. I'm a fan of both fighters. I, I like, I just like everything about both. They're both very, very fierce women inside that octagon, but they're super sweet outside the octagon. So, um, how do you yeah, how, how do you break fight. it down, Kamaru? How do you break down how do you break down this fight? Well, it ain't gonna be no grappling, that's for sure. Uh, I think. Uh, Marina is long. She keeps everything long. She probably has the best Muay Thai. She, she's probably the best female Muay Thai specialist in the UFC. Um, really? Yes. Over uh, oh, over Israel. Over who? Over Israel Adesanya. Israel, I said female. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jesus. I said female and Muay Thai. Israel is a, a, a Thai boxer. I believe that's a little different. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm going... I'm, Marina is is amazing. I mean, the way that she fights, she keeps everybody at the edge of her shots. And if she's able to get that clinch, oh, she's nasty in that clinch. But Jessica Andrade, <laughs> bro, yeah. she's a tank. And I I don't I don't I respectfully, if I had to compare the fighting style of Jessica Andrade, I would say she's the female John Lineker. Yeah. Remember John Lineker? Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Lineker. And yeah. how go to the body, body go to the body up yeah. top. Go to up top, go to the body. She fights just like that. Holds her hands low. She swings heavy hooks. She touches that body, touches that head. And a feet and she has incredible power too. Because a female that's able to touch another female and yeah. put it down. Yeah. That's one thing about Yeah, one hundred percent. But I also think sometimes there's it's hit or it's hit or miss with her. Like if you're able to fight Jessica Andrade and bring in that grappling yeah. or, or or bring the pressure too and get her to go backwards, she doesn't fight the same. But that being said, Marina is actually really good. As you said, she's super long. She likes to, she she's a gritty fighter and she could take a hit. I don't oh, yeah. I, I, I don't I, I don't believe she's ever been stopped. And I think there's a certain grit ness to her i know she's dedicated but this is the battle of brazil these are brazil of two brazilian warriors i mean people people don't consider like being five one in comparison to five six it's hard to fight shorter people 
It's like, it, like it really is, man. Like this is the reason why, like myself, guys like Alexander Volkanovsky have been very problematic because if you do want to take them down, notice how much you have to level change to get, you know, you know, to get underneath, but to get underneath the hips. So that being said, it's a great fight. I know both of them that the best woman win, uh, but mm -hmm. if there's an edge that I'd probably kind of give the fight to, I want to give the fight to Jessica Andrade. But tactically, if there's anybody that could really make that adjustment. It is Marina. Great fight. Let's move on to the next fight. We've got Jalen Turner, the tarantula, taking on Hanato Moicano. Good fight. I just think uh, it's just relatively. I think I like I like both guys. I really do like both guys. But I just think Jalen Turner is. Uh, yeah. He's he's he's. I mean, when you put in so much time. And then you start to just kind of, because you know that time only builds confidence in you. And I think Jalen Turner's finding it. He he's starting to find it. He just he believes he's a seasoned fighter, and I, I like everything that he has to offer in the game right now. Juan yeah. Cano too is a tough dude, but you know he has been stopped. I have seen seen some, um, you know, a little bit of fluctuation yeah, in deterioration. Of yeah, a little bit, but I, he's still a dog, and I like him. That's another fun fight. It's an incredible fight. But I, I think Jalen Turner right now is a streaky young, younger. If I could say something about Jalen Turner, he he reminds me a lot of John Jones, but he doesn't if if he was a hundred percent, if he had that killer mentality of more of that, that 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 little piece that's missing, this dude could become another version of John Jones. You know what I I'm saying? And the reason the only reason why I say that is because I saw a lot of his fights and he tends to kind of like once shit starts Getting tougher, it's like he becomes a different fighter. I go back and I watch that fight with uh, uh, with the Australian guy. What Hooker. the hell's his name? Yeah, Jan, yeah, yeah, Dan, yeah, Dan Hooker. Hooker. You know what I'm saying? Winning that whole fight, doing doing everything right, and all of a sudden, there's there's something in there. But Hanato Moicano, like he he's been he's been through the grind. Like watching him fight against a guy like uh, like Drew Drew Dober. Obviously, he used the wrestling. It's, it's, uh, Jalen Turner comes from that background of wrestling, so I don't think he's. I don't. Good luck trying to take that dude down. And if you do, this dude's gonna get up. Six three, a hundred and, and fifty five pounds. That's absolutely crazy. I want to say he's the biggest guy at hundred at hundred and fifty five pounds. But that being said, I can see Jalen Turner winning this fight and actually winning by finish. I can see it. I can see it. Let's slide over to the next one. Now we are in the prelims. That was early prelims. Shiatu. Shiza! Yes. Wow. <laughs> Going into the, 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 the prelims, first fight is my man, Sadiq Yusuf. Oh, he's the Nigerian man. Is the Nigerian yeah, going to yeah, stick yeah, with Nigeria? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you, uh, or, or what? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You can have a Nigerian out there with no arms, and I'm still rooting for him. Hey. <laughs> Uh, we got uh, Sadiq Yusuf taking on Diego Lopez. This is a fun fight. This is a fun fight. Diego Lopez, relatively new in the UFC. He was the guy that got that short notice fight in there when he went in there with... Uh, um, who did he fight short notice? He yeah, the Russian. Uh, it was the Russian. Ivloyev, yeah. First, first fight in the UFC and gave him a tough fight. It wasn't easy. He put him in danger a few times. And after that, he's just been he's just been rolling, just be just stopping dudes first round. So that's a great fight, I think. Um, I don't know enough about uh, su uh, Sadiq. Sadiq, I don't Sadiq know. Sadiq is he, he's gonna come forward. Yeah. He gonna he's, does he have does he have wrestling? Boxing. He's got wrestling, but he doesn't utilize it that much, which is something that I I, I would love to pour into him How's to his make conditioning? him a man. Got gr good conditioning, but he's just he's gonna bang. He had that banger with Edson Barbosa. Not too long ago, oh, yeah. but he's uh, he's how, how do you do? I think he ended up losing a decision, but um, it was it was a uh, um, he's oh, he's shit. a banger. It was a five rounder, five rounder. Oh. Yeah, I tell you what, man, when you, when you look at that experience, dude, once you go five rounds against a guy like Barbosa and you're able to, if if, if, if he was able to hang in there, I, I, I didn't see that fight, but if he was able to hang in there on the feet, then that fight would be then that fight, then that fight changes a little bit because. Obviously, you know you you have uh, you know Diego Lopez, who's you know who's been knocking who's been knocking people out. He's got slick submissions. Yeah. But what happens when you get another guy who's young, just like you, has a little bit of that wrestling defense, 
and is also uh, a no, durable the, one. Did you see, see that? Did you see the numbers on that fight? How did he lose that fight? Oh, I guess he, he was take. He was take. He, look at that. He Barbosa took him down three times. When you turn Barbosa into a takedown artist, so I, I, I'm I'm trying to recall the fight, but he landed more, but he was taken down a, a, a bit more, and even. Yeah, like, how did he lose this fight? God, I forget Barbosa went down a featherweight. That's crazy, dude. I don't know how these dudes make it. But either way, man, if I, you know, were my leaning towards a little bit more, I know the UFC's trying to push Lopez. Is he ready for a tough competition? I mean, oh, yeah. First he, fight was he <laughs> What do you mean is he ready for tough competition? No, you're right. You're right. First but fight but, but at the same time, this guy, uh, the, the Russian... Uh, Evloev, if I'm pronouncing it right. Evloev, yeah. Evloev, Davai, he's a uh, uh, Movzar. Movzar, yes. He doesn't, he, the majority of all his fights are all decision, bro. He doesn't that's have true, that knockout but he's, power. That's true, but he's dominating these guys. Look at that, decision, guys, decision, so. decision, decision, decision. That's true, you're right, but he's dominating these guys. I mean, he he's, he's, he's not taking too much damage, and he's dominating these guys. I do agree with you. You know, it, it, it's it's a lot tougher to be a star if you're not finishing guys. Yeah. So, well, I'll tell you what, man. I'm gonna play the devil's on. advocate. I'm gonna I'm gonna go De uh, Diego Lopez, man. I think. Uh, I mean, look at his experience too, though. Yeah. He's got a lot of fights. Yeah, he's got 30 fights. And he's got more fights than me and you. Yeah. Jesus. All right, let's slide up to the next fight. Let's try to run through these. Oh wow! I mean, <laughs> I mean, you got <laughs> Kayla Harrison taking on Ali Ong. I mean, this is a this is a pay per view fight. This is a pay per view main card fight. That just shows you how crazy this card is. Kayla Harrison making her debut in the UFC. I mean, she's done it all. She's the only quadruple C Damn, in the game. Don't say that. <laughs> no. Got two Olympic champions, Olympic championships, and I believe two PFL championship tournament championship as well. But I could also tell you though something too, come on, that you have to keep in mind. And again, man, we're all what? promoted by Ali. What? And this is something that a girl like Holly Holmes, she's a boxing world champ, Muay Thai world champ, oh, yeah. UFC world champ, and she's already fought people who have tried to take her down like Ronda Rousey. So I, I do believe if Kayla does have good entries, uh, she would be able to take down a girl like like Holly Holmes, but you cannot. I'm not count, I'm not counting... Holly Holmes out, dude, on this because she's a veteran, bro. And like you said before, once you find the UFC, you're seeing all these different celebrities. You're seeing how everything is just a little bit different than PFL, than Bellator, 100%. and a lot of these things. Shit does change. 100%. I think uh, you're, you're absolutely right. Holly Holmes does know how to fight fighters like this. Distance. Who, she's yes, going to move. She, she, she moves. She moves a tremendous amount. She's she's always moving and she knows how to throw a combination and get out of the way, throw a combination and get out of the way. But I will tell you, it's a lot different. Uh, Kayla Harrison is not Ronda Rousey. Kayla Harrison is a different fighter than Ronda Rousey. Kayla Harrison will stand a strike if she has to, but obviously she's gonna choose the, the path of least resistance, but she will strike with you if she has yeah. to. I would tell you this, I do believe Kayla Harrison is stronger I do believe Kayla Harrison is Olympic champion. And there's multiple championships between these girls. Uh, Holly has yeah. a boxing world titles. Kayla has... Hall of Fame. Uh, yes, Hall of Fame. Kayla has... So the thing is, from, the question is, that, which, which, which titles are more, more important and more suitable for winning a UFC mixed martial arts fight? Judo Olympic Championship medals and P an MMA World Championship medals. Yes, it's a different promotion. Yeah, championship uh, championships or boxing World Championships and the kick, the first kick heard around the world. Mine was the second, but that was the first. <laughs> <laughs> the one against me, the one against me was the second. But Got him. The Got first. Him. <laughs> hers was the first <laughs> kick heard around the world. God, you're a good sport. Fuck, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but you, once I'll you, cry but, later. but but you gotta think about this too, Kamaru. Yeah. Kayla Harrison is going down to 135 pounds, yes. and she yes. is. I don't, yeah, she's still young. She's a lot younger than Holly Holmes. I mean, Holly Holmes is 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 nine years older than Kayla Harrison, but she's also dropping that weight. This girl's a veteran, dude. Holly Holmes wants that title again. The winner of this fight is more likely to become the next UFC champion. 
I agree. So I would I wouldn't necessarily uh, 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 count out Holly Holmes just because there's a lot of things. There's the UFC. There's there's going down an, an extra uh, five pounds. Or I think wasn't it wasn't she fifty five in 55, PFL? Yes, fifty five. Yes, that's twenty pounds, Kamaru. Yes. I mean, if you don't think that stuff's gonna play 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 an effect, dude, then. And fuck, man, I, I want to know who, uh, you know, I want to know she's, you know, that secret juice or something. But you, you gotta, you gotta weigh everything out, man. You really do, man. I, I just don't think you, sh you, you can count either one of them out. But yeah. I will say this: this is a fight to watch. I'm not gonna, I don't want to pick a winner because I cannot pick somebody. I cannot go against Holly Holmes because she is a former world champ. She, she, she. When we doubted her against another judoka. Who was who was and I believe Holly Holmes. I, mean, I believe at that time even Ronda was a lot better on her feet than a girl like Kayla Harrison. But whoa, Kay Kayla Harrison, whoa. yeah, Kayla Harrison, this is blasphemy. Kayla Harrison blasphemy, with, with the grappling and the strength was better than Ronda Rousey. But yes, that being said, she has two Olympic <laughs> championships to prove. But it. that's grappling. We're, yes. we're, we're talking about okay. on the yeah, feet. Yeah, but but on the feet. Wait, did you just say that? Ronda Rousey, who I do love, Ronda, was better than is better on her than feet. Kayla. On her feet uh, at that time. Do yeah. you watch fights? I, I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> I do. Yeah, respectfully, you want to watch a fight, dude. Respectfully, <laughs> Ronda. Respectfully, I don't. I just don't. I. I don't think. Respectfully, I don't think so. I do yeah. think what Ronda had to work with at that time. Ronda did. A tremendous amount, exponentially great amount with what she had to work with. But I do think uh, Kayla Harrison is a bit levels above. I mean, that's the thing with the sport. Okay, all it right. Evolved. So your prediction so, that Kamaru does Kayla Harrison. We're gonna get it move done on to the next fight here. Uh, <laughs> oh, that next fight, Kevin Cater <laughs> taking out former uh, bantamweight champion Al Jermaine Sterling. Yeah, I, I can tell you this right now, and I, and I know where Algerman's going to take the fight. And this is where he's really good. He was able to take me down. He does it very, very well. He, su he surprised me. Mm -hmm. Is against the cage. He's going to hurry up. He's, he's going to he's going to push the pace on Calvin Cater, and he's going to push him against the cage. He's gonna, once he, once he locks his hand, he's gonna, he's going to take him down. Now, can he keep him down? Could he, could he take the back? Is Calvin, Calvin Cater Calvin using? Calvin a wrestler. Well, what's a wrestler? Yeah, but a lot of these guys, though, too, come on. When you fall in love with the hands a little bit too much, dude. It, Calvin it just, Cater just, can't, uh, can't bang on you. Pause. Yeah, but I will say this. Calvin Cater does have hands, dude. And he's very slick. And he's very technical and tactical. But could a guy like Calvin Cater ooh, ooh, really hey. defend the shots of <sighs> Aljamain Sterling? That and then take away one second. How was your How was your water? It was pound for pound. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, you see what we did there? <laughs> Let me know. Um, we will be releasing these um, after the show. Uh, we'll have a link for you to, if you want to purchase some of these glasses, just let me know. And we'll uh, we'll send you guys some. But there's something about the water just tastes oh, yeah, bad. Hold on. Hold on. Give, give that. Give that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. But that being said, Kamaru, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I, I think I, I think I think if 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 Cater could literally sprawl bra, use a distance, kind of big man him a little bit, um, if he can defend those first couple shots, because he's gonna come, that's the only way of the victory for a guy like Al Jermaine. Yeah. Calvin Cater's got good hands, man. He, he's he's great, a slick great dude. Hands. Great hands. Um, and can we also talk about territory wars here? This is territory wars. I believe Cater is a from Boston. Is it Boston or or New York. And Where'd Aljo's you park the York. car? Aljo's from New York, and I believe Kelvin Kett is from Boston or New Jersey, or one of them, New England. Yeah, Boston, Boston. Boston. Oh, that's his, that's his nickname, the Boston finisher. Yeah, so Boston taking on uh, uh, New York here. So let's see, let's see, you know, you can't go back to, to your hood and not do your thing, so. I like this. It's the, the New England cartel taking on Sarah Longo fight team there. So, you know, I can't wait for that fight. That's an incredible fight, too. And that's another fight with another former champion in it. I think that's five or six now fights. Yeah. Ooh, sliding up to the Yuri Prohaska taking on Alexander Reich. Reichick. Or Reichick? 
Right kick. Right kick. Right kick. Right kick. Right kick. Is that what it is, guys? We're having Man, technical difficulties. Right kick. I think it's right kick. Anyways. Alexander Rakic. 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 Yeah, like a rocket ship. Former champion. Former champion uh, in that uh, light heavyweight division. And Rychik is trying to get to that title. So how do you see this fight, Henry? Yeah, I think Rychik, he just had a really boring fight with somebody. Was it with Thiago Silva? Damn. There was somebody that was super boring. I was just like, man, Jesus. Don't put him out there like that. Yeah, I mean, I just, that wasn't, who was it? Block, oh, he lost to Blockovich. He got KO. Guys, I mean, I mean, I think, you know, win over Thiago. So yeah, it was him. Against yeah, that was one of the most boring fights I've ever seen in my life, dude. Yeah, I'm going with Yuri Prohaska. I think Yuri Prohaska just he's a lot more dynamic. He's yeah. he's you know, I've had a chance to coach him, I had a chance to work with him yeah. firsthand. Like he's he's like he's like he's a guy that you would be like, you know, you, you know, you see guys at the club like doing techno. Yeah. Like he's a technical he's he's a techno fighter. Like he just goes according to the rhythm. Like he's really able to you see the. Uh, you got if I put that shit just on. take your shirt off. Can, can you take your shirt off and do the? Uh, <laughs> who was really? it from? Uh, white chicks. Can you do a uh, Tarani? <laughs> Re <laughs> relax. <laughs> relax. Jeez. <laughs> Anyhow, that being said, I just feel like uh, you know a guy like Yuri Prohaska. He's fought for the title. He's been some of the best guys. He fought tougher opponents. He beat yeah. Glover Teixeira. I just feel like he's just a lot more dynamic and he's a lot trickier with his movements, with his distance. And not just that dude, this dude, he really is like a samurai. This dude would literally like sit in, you know, 20 below temperature waters, bro, and it's just like nothing. Like oh, he's just, he's, he just, he just, no, 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 no. He goes into the lakes and freaking, uh, and, 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 uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the Czech Republic, dude. But then, cold tubs? Probably. You want, you want, you <laughs> want to. That's pretty much what it is. It's a cold tub. But yeah, that's that is an incredible fight. I I I, I agree with you. I think Yuri's uh Yuri's a bit more dynamic and I think he's you know, he might be able to find that finish. Now we're moving on to that main card. And now this is this is I guess you can say controversial. Should this card be on the main card? Should this fight be on the main card? Should it be on the main card? I, I, you know, I actually kind of like it. I like what UFC is doing because, uh, you know, when I was early on in my, when I was early on, like ascending to the, you know, in that territory, the contender status to, to actually fight for the title, there was a piece of me that was salty about the fact that the UFC would not give me a push, would not give me, build me like they were building these guys. You know, they would just let me, throw me in there and say, all right, go fight this guy with experience, go fight that guy with experience. And yeah, it is what it is, you know. Like I said, it, it's it, it made me a better fighter. By the time I got to the title, I was able to just to to do what I needed I needed to do. And with a guy like Bo Nickel, they are actually building him the right way. The thing with him is you gotta give him credit too. He's doing the appropriate thing with what he has to work with. He's going out there and he's finishing these guys. He's finishing them brutally to where they're, they're highlights. These UFC is building a, a reel for him right now, a highlight reel. And, and this kid is doing a good job with him. So I like what Dana is doing with him by not rushing him too fast. They're giving him game opponents. And I like it. I, I like it. Uh, and hey, you can't be salty, Henry, because these are the new representative of UFC wrestling. <laughs> these uh, are the new guys. So, so, somebody these are to, the new guys. We're no longer Somebody no has guys. to fucking do it. <laughs> and you're right. The, you, know, you know what? You know what? Come on. When you put it that way, you're 100% right. And this is the new generation of guys coming out of Penn State and guys coming out of different universities. Yes. Like, you know, when you get a, when you get a three-time uh, NCAA champ, four-time finalist in Bo Nickel, Olympic alternate, who is right there, man, dude, that, that's just inspiring the next generation of wrestlers that will probably won't get to the level of wrestling because wrestling's so freaking competitive that people are just going to, you know, suit to follow. I mean, there's a lot of guys that are looking to get in there. You know, you, you got you got a lot of his teammates. You got, a, a, you know, you got a lot of his teammates right now. You know, a bunch of four-timers, four-time NCAA champs, they're looking to get in. So a lot of you guys who are fighting right now, you guys stay tuned because it's just about to get a whole lot harder. Either way, it I is. got Bo Nickel, either first round knockout or first round submission. 
Yeah, I, I think um, I, I I like that. I like that. I'm a, but I'm they like do. Got, but they. But but if he does get past this dude in the first round, you do got to test him a little bit. You do. You do got to give him a top twenty fighter. Uh, top twenty. Yeah, top twenty. I mean, he's he's very he, he's he's because that's Cause, one thing. Russell, that, Russell's were different, Kamaru. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, fucking yeah. No, we're different, bro. I agree, and, and I think this is a good opponent to. Um, I can't think of a Cody Brundridge fight that that comes to mind, but you know, he's game. I'm not I'm not counting him completely out. He's game. He can punch, <laughs> and at the same time, you know, he can grapple enough to potentially slow down Bo Nickel. I, what I want to see though is Bo Nickel get out of round one get out of round two, and still be able to put on a complete yeah. fight and get that finish. That's what you really know. That's when you know that he's ready for that next yeah. level. Yeah. But it's a great fight. Move on. Wow. Wow. All right, now we get to the nitty gritty. Come yeah, on. Yeah, you got Charles Oliver Charles versus Oliver. Armin Saruki. Come on. Let wow. me have it, Kush. It's an incredible fight. Uh, but a piece of me feels like this is uh, Charles versus Islam Makashev. Oof. And um, our man is a streaky guy. He's coming. He's, he, he's, he, he believes in himself because he puts in the work with the way that he finished Benil Darius. He, he's, he's put the work in. And, um, and I, I think that our man is, is tough enough to be able to go out there and, and stop or at least slow down Charles Oliveira. But Charles Oliveira, I mean, just a fun fighter, super fun fighter. Um, <laughs> former champion. If he does win this, this is a battle right now oh, for who the shoot. next, who's going to be in line in that short line to fight for that uh, lightweight title. Yeah, yeah, no, one hundred percent. And you're right, bro. I was there in that fight. I, I like Charles Oliveira, and I think he's done some amazing things. I, I did kind of somewhat counted him out against uh, Benil, but. Armin's just a younger. He's he's just he's he's a younger he's version of what of what you said of Islam Makachev. He's very diverse. I mean, you saw that crazy knee how he knocked out <sighs> Benil Dariush. Um, he brings he he just he, he he has that chip on his shoulder of one going through that going through that. I don't want to say controversial because I, I did feel like he did lose it, but it was a really close fight against uh, against Gamrat. And then obviously giving the toughest fight to Iza Makachev till this day. He's yeah. too solid. He's short. He's a lot shorter than, than a guy like Charles Oliver, but that also makes him problematic. He brings a wrestling game in there where he's not going to allow a guy like Charles Oliveira to, to just go in there and take, take him down and take his back. He's going to defend him. And I think he'll keep it basic. And I think I, I think I think he's not afraid to go in there. Look for yeah. the takedowns and then just and ground and pound. Oh yeah, you know, not necessarily look for submissions, but literally ground and pound. If if Armin Sarukin does win, I, I don't think it's going to be a really entertaining fight. But I could see him, you know, getting his hand raised at the end. Oh, well, I, I, and I, I like it, Charles. Charles, it, it has to be entertaining because of the way that Charles has figured out that Charles I is have too to. dangerous, bro. Yeah, Charles has figured out I have to swing. My samurai sword, every witch. I, it's just like a guy just walking towards you doing the sword like this. You know what? I, I kind of want to see you and him fight. You remember yeah, that one Charles? time you guys were like, you know, he was coming up. You're, you're, you're pound for pound. He was coming up. Remember you guys saw each other at the lobby? Yeah. I don't know if he can pull that up, dude. No, that, I thought when that he shit, walked I thought by, that shit yeah. was cool, man. It was you know, cool, you're but it was, red. it was you had, you had that, uh, you had your little... Yeah, uh, magenta, that's what that called. The magenta yeah, two-piece. He, he looked like a killer good. walking up, too. I ain't going to hold you. That was hard. The way he walked in, he, he looked like me. The entrance looked like me. He looked like a straight up killer. He walked in there with the red. You know, he had the Dude, glasses on with the fire, suit. Bro. It was it was fire. I got to give that to him. I was Come like, on, damn, look at that. And they had to slow down too, the slow mo. Yeah. I ain't want to dap him up, but yeah, I was like, All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I love it. I ain't want to. You know, I did not like want to. But, yeah, he was fighting my brother, Justin, so I did not want to. Because my brother goes to war, we all go to war. So I did I like not want that. to, but, hey, um, he's a killer. He's a great fighter, great champion he was. And, yeah, I'm excited for this fight. I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, this is this is this this could almost be this this could be the main event. Like if if every oh, other yeah. car was to kind of like flop out, like this could really be the main There's event. There's so many I, main events. But on I this believe car. because of Armin, 
because Armin really wants to get that title, really become that champion, yeah. I think he's going to have to play it safe. Who? I think he's going to play it safe. Armin Sarukin. You well, heard he, it here first. Well, yeah, there's a path to least resistance in the fight, but... With a guy like that's what I'm saying. With a guy like Charles Oliveira, it's Kamikaze. He's 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 swinging the samurai sword like this, and that's what makes you know? him dangerous. Yeah, so you you can't be safe. You can't. How does he swing the sword, Kamaru? You know you know they're about to. <laughs> <laughs> Big pause. <laughs> All right, you know, you go know to the next fight. Shows. Go to the next fight. Well, I mean, come on. You seen the meme of uh, uh, of Dana White doing this? <laughs> oh shit! Yes. Whoa, <laughs> Take my money. <laughs> Justin Gaethje's all in fighting Max Holloway. My man, my brother Justin Gaethje taking on just uh, taking on. Do you know Max Holloway's name? Blush, right? No, that's his nickname. Do you know his first name? No. <laughs> Max Holloway, right? Yeah, when I found out his first name, I was like, wow, really? And uh, yo, I was like, no wonder he like, no wonder he got st style like that. No wonder he be beating dudes up like that. You know who Max's first name? <laughs> Jerome. 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 My, my man, Jerome. I love it. I okay. love it. This is an amazing fight. I mean, this is, I mean, obviously for the BMF belt. Um, it's incredible. It's incredible. Incredible fight. I think fights like this, though, for a guy like Justin Gaethje, these God, are he's fights where Kamaru. he he, can sh he really shines. But this is also an opportunity for Max Holloway to really reemerge himself as because Max never really left. He just got a little quieter because he didn't have the title. He's fucking. But he's he never dangerous. Really left. Yeah, he's dangerous. So dude. this is an incredible fight. And I, I, honestly, oh. I, honestly, I thought this. Should have been the main event for for for, for three hundred. One hundred percent. Yeah, you're right. You know, and, and you know what's funny? We're just talking about how this could be the main event, and then yeah. we go up a we go up a card. Oh yeah. And just engage you, you're hundred percent right. Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, should have been a main event for the so, for the card, but incredible fight for the BMF belt. If it's a five rounder, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I would hate to fight a dude like Gaethje. I'd be I'd do the <laughs> same thing that could be, be like, whoo. Yeah. Diving in them legs. BM. Yep. Title fight. Uh, I believe that's a five rounder, so I can't wait to see that. I cannot wait to see that. Yeah, well, I, mean, I, I love I both think, guys, but yeah, know. no, for sure, one hundred percent. Obviously, you're super close with uh, that's with Gaethje, my brother, man. Justin Gaethje. Well, let, let, let me give my two cents yeah, on go that because I, I feel like I feel like Holloway. If Holloway could evade the leg kicks, it, it could change a lot, dude. And if he could evade the leg kicks and maybe even press Justin. And it could change things a little bit. <laughs> but that being said, that Justin <laughs> Gaethje, he is a diesel, man. Justin <laughs> Gaethje, he does come with elbows, fists, and knees. And you're talking about a real kamikaze out of everybody in the UFC. His name is Justin Gaethje. This dude, this dude's willing to die. He's willing to kill to win. He's willing to be killed to win. And I think that's what makes Justin Gaethje freaking dangerous and extremely special. And you know, think about what he did uh, uh, once he fought uh, uh, Poirier, uh, Poirier again. He knocked him out. You know, he's lost to nothing but the best guys in the world. And I believe when it comes to rematches, Justin's different. I think he's learned from the past and he's able to bring in a different bag of tricks. And I could just see him if he, you know, I could see him, you know, him winning. I could see him hurting Max, dude, in some in some way. But kudos to Max. I mean, if if, if Max is somehow able to 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 fight Justin just different, dude. Fuck. I just don't know Kamaru. Yeah, it's a it's an incredible fight. I mean, it, it's the thing about Justin too is people. Uh, a lot of people they they see they've seen his earlier fights. So because you know Justin is it's right what it's true what they say. Justin Gaethje is your favorite fighter. It's favorite fighter, and and yeah, they see all that early chaos that he creates in there. But uh, some people might be missing the. Advances just the, the just the wealth of experience that Justin Gaethje is starting to put into the sport. He's not taking as much damage as anymore. He's able to just move and put guys in the right spot to be able to just take them out of the fight. And then he builds and builds and builds. And this is something that shout out to Trevor Whitman. One of the the greatest things that uh, Trevor does instill in us is how to build a fight, building a fight. 
and not just going in there because Justin before was just deep yeah. waters right away. Yeah. Justin builds a fight now. Yeah. And he catches you slipping, boom, puts you out. No, I know. It's, it's almost like now he's able, he knows how to pace himself. He understands his, his threshold. And then and then now he's adding more of that wrestling as he did with Michael Chandler. Yeah. So you definitely see the steps above and, and the improvements that he's kind of gone leaps and bounds rather than him being that same guy in the beginning that fought Eddie Alvarez that went crazy. Yeah. The same, the, the first time he fought uh, Poirier. Uh, uh, Poirier, where he just gassed himself out. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? He, he's a different cat now. He's he's just fucking dangerous, man. To say the least, I would hate to fight him. Yeah. Now we we'll move on to the what the co-main event of the evening. You got the women's strawweight title. Wow. First time I believe in UFC history, two Chinese women fighting for the title. I mean, this is an incredible fight. You've got Zhang Wei Li taking on Yan Sanan. I hope I said that right. <laughs> I love her. I, I, I like both. I, I, it, this, this We're is about like, to get canceled, Kamaru. No, you for probably what? said You Miss probably Kong said Lei? a cuss word in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you get canceled for that. <laughs> no, it, it's... Um, right, right, right. We're going to listen to it right now, look. Xiaoyang. Yang Xiaonan. Xiaonan. You see okay. that too. But uh, incredible. I mean, this, this is... First time, and this is an incredible fight too. We all know that Zhang Wei Li is a ninja in there. But now she's taking on another ninja. In Yan Xianan. Nice. Right. Yeah. Nice. Ah, I think I you're, just that missing, right. you're just missing the bow, Kamar. Everything about these girls is, as Mike Goldberg would say, virtually identical. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> virtually identical. They're both 5'4", uh, 5'5", uh, five, five, 115 pounds, both 34 <laughs> years of age, both reach is 63. Wow, look at that. And they're both from China. Both from China. And they're both Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> they're both killers in there too. Oh, I love, I love, I like this fight. I think, um... I think this is this might be the toughest test for Zhang Wei Li. Out of, of course, my girl, Rose Nama Yunus. I think this might be the toughest fight. Because you got another killer who wants it just as much as you want it. And and this, you don't have the the propeller of 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 your country behind you to boost you. Because she got that too. She got that too. And I think. Henry, I'm gonna just go on the record. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay? Yeah, let's hear it. Back in the day, when you was wrestling, yeah. you couldn't lose to another black dude. <laughs> Can't. And every real champion, wrestling champion, know this. You know this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Can't lose. Because you go back to the hood, they're gonna say, oh. You let Tyrone do you like that on the mat? Nah, you can't do that. You can't lose. You can't lose because it, it was, it's just something about it because you come from the same circumstances I come from, come from the same struggles I come from. I can't lose to you. Yeah. And I think these girls know that. John Wei Lee's not gonna have that. Okay, I got my country behind me. I have yeah. to do this for my country. No. Yeah. It's, this you gotta do this for yeah, yourself. Yeah, it, it almost strips you. It almost strips you a little bit more. It's, it's it's like you lose, but like you know what? Were you always the best in the world? You know what I'm saying? Kind of kind of type of thing. Were you always the best in the world from, from this China. country? Yeah. So we'll but, find out. Yeah, but breaking down that fight too, because I obviously I've I've worked with I've worked with Wei Li. Uh, you know, we still talk to to this day. She'll send me messages. She'll ask for like little things. Like, what do you think about this? Wei Li is fucking smart, man. She's a smart girl. She's only gone better. She recognizes distance more. She's able to tactically fight people different as she fought Amanda Lamos, where she was able to use her uh, her wrestling and because obviously Amanda Lamos, like she has power, man. Yeah. Those Brazilians, they may not be as, as 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 technical and tactical. I mean, as, as but one thing they do have, they're they're all great strikers. And what did Zhang Wei Li do? 
out wrestled there, controlled her on bottom, looked for submissions, like made her literally fight her B side. I mean, Amanda knew. I mean, uh, Zhang Weili went in there with a couple swords and and then the big giant sword that Amanda Lemus had. Weili was just able to kind of use those two little daggers, take her down, fillet her, and easily win that fight. So I think experience does matter here. Yeah. I do see a girl like Zhang Weili beating uh, Yan, whether it's through the wrestling side or the striking side. I think anywhere and everywhere, Zhang Weili is just better. And a victory over Yan in this fight, I think she's ready to move up. I think she's ready to move up to 125 pounds, and I think I think she should be granted the winner of Alexa Grasso and Valentina Shevchenko. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. I really do like that. Uh, but there comes a time where a champion is just, you know, you you you've been you've been in that place too long. You've been in that too, just a little bit too long, and a younger because that's the one thing about the sport is it's gonna be a younger, it's gonna be hungrier. God, they're both up. the same age. Yes, but there's gonna be <laughs> someone that hasn't someone that hasn't experienced what you've experienced, the 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 responsibilities that you've had to carry, and someone's just hungrier for that responsibility. Uh, yeah. Well, they think they are for that responsibility. But, but but can I tell you something too, Kamaru? Yeah, she's like she's like Khabib, dude. She's like one hundred. I know that. She's like those Dagestanis. I, I know that. I you know, know that. I mean? she's, like, like we have I, our free I time. Do. Like we've done some cool things. No, I I believe I've said like, that before to where I believe she's she was created for this. It's like the Ivan Drago of China. She was created well, for they this. Just eat, sleep, yes. talk, fighting, bro. Like, yes. You know, but, like like we don't like you know. What I, mean? I think this is why we get along. Like we have a life. Once we once we're out fighting, whatever. Like we're normal yeah. again. Speak for These yourself, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> no hell no, I know this dude. Inside and out. Mm -hmm. But the like You're her, right. she she's just different, bro. And yeah. I don't know something I don't know if too much of something could be not so good for you, but either way, if if, if she has somewhat of that balance, then then kudos to her. There's there's okay, but the, you have to understand though. I, I get exactly what you're saying with, with Wei Lee, just how she she might be better in, in the every position, but that's because for Jan, she just it, it might, it's gonna take somebody like this to really show it. I've seen her take down defense. Did you see her fight Mackenzie Dern? Yeah. And and it was like it was Mackenzie couldn't get a take, couldn't buy a takedown with her. She was able to <laughs> stop all of them. Look at her. Did you see? She fought. Uh, uh, did she fight Jessica Andrade? And did she? She stopped Jessica Andrade, I believe, didn't she? Yeah, she did. I think she did beat her. I mean, can you go back? Can you go back to her resume? Yeah, I, I mean. Mackenzie Dern can buy a takedown, you know. She uh, but, stopped. But 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 also look at her two losses: Carla Sparza and Marina Rodriguez. That was that, yeah, but that was that was younger in her career. That was really like um, yeah, a lot can change in a year. A lot can change in two years. Look at that. She also split decision to Marina, and Marina is a killer too. You know who's also on the earlier on this card. So. I, I, I love this fight. I think this is a coming out party for Jan. I think it's a coming out party. If she can stuff those takedowns, <laughs> they're both they're both elite strikers. These are these I would say they're two both of them are top five elite strikers in the female uh uh female females in the UFC. Yeah. Top five, both of them. Elite strikers. Of course, you got your Rose Nama Yunus, you've got your uh, um uh, Joanna, Valentina. well, you had your Joanna, and you got your Valentina, but Even these Alexa. ladies, yeah, these ladies are elite strikers, yeah. Stri elite strikers. Well, we move on to you want to move on. You want to pick a fight? You want to pick one? Pick a I'm going Zhang Wei Li, man. By whatever Zhang the hell Wei. she wants to do. Wow. And uh, I think she's only getting better, and I think I think she's ready to become uh, the second two division champion UFC history, women's history. And Jean Willian, I, I do believe that she could do it. Oh, you mean if she does move yeah, up? Okay. Yeah, she, after I this see. fight, okay. she needs to move up. Like, okay. come on, man, give her the opportunity. She's been she's been asking, she's been begging for that fight okay. with with either uh, Alexa or or uh, Valentina. But either way, I think it'll be good for the UFC. I agree. I'm moving on to the main. First, I was gonna say, slow, scroll back down a little bit, real quick. <laughs> Like, is, are they drawing these abs in? Was was my abs like this when I was when they had my picture up? Are they drawing their abs in? Look at these. Okay, yeah, they oh they definitely drawing them in. 
Look at the main event. <laughs> they and you know, it, we'll know I if they look. drew a man. No, 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 no. Go to Calvin Gastelum, and Let, then we'll know if they drew those motherfuckers in. Or see mine. <laughs> was I looking like that? Look at that Chamaya the breakdown with the Chamaya. Was I looking like that? No, I saw you, man. Nah, saw they are drawing them in, because I think for me, they ain't really drawing them in. They just let them be natural, because they, you know, they... They knew I was already coming with something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's probably why he gave, that's probably why he gave those compliments on our YouTube channel. Damn, he he good, man. He hot. I want some of that. <laughs> you know what I'm All saying? right, let's move on to the main event. Yeah, we main event. We've got Alex Pereira. 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 Pereira taking on Jimal Hill. Jamal Hill, wow. What, what, um, chance, what chances do you give Jamal Hill? What chances do I yeah. give Jamal Hill? Yeah, do you see Jamal Hill? Do you see, do you see J Jamal Hill? Because obviously he's an underdog. Yeah, I think it, uh, a big thing here is uh, confidence. I think Jamal Hill, something happened, uh, I believe, three fights ago. Three or four fights ago. And Jamal Hill is not the most well-rounded fighter in the UFC. Let's be honest. And... I don't think he, he might not be the most well-rounded guy in that division. But something happened four fights ago with Jamal Hill to where Jamal Hill believed in these. Yeah. And Jamal <laughs> Hill knew that. He knew that it, yeah. with these, I touch you with these, I'm putting you out. And so that's the thing with Jamal Hill. He's carrying that. And so he knows he can touch Alex Pereira and potentially put him out because Izzy has put him out. So I definitely give him a big chance with this because of his confidence. Like I said, this is not the most well-rounded fight that we're going to see. Both guys are going to stand. Both guys are going to bang. Alex Pereira, if he's able to use his leg kicks, I think it might be problematic for Jamal Hill. But Jamal Hill sees something in Alex Pereira. And we all see the same thing with Alex Pereira. He doesn't hold his hands the highest in that division. He can be hit. He can be hurt, and I believe Jamal Hill feels that he's going to be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I think Jamal Hill could 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 beat him, but he needs to he needs to do it. He needs to do it early. Why? Is because of that leg kick. You know, luckily he's southpaw. Yes. Which 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 will make it a little. Which you know, obviously uh, Alex is very kick heavy with the right leg, but he also kicks he also kicks with his lead leg too. I mean, either way, Jamal Hill, the probabilities of because I watched the fight between him and uh, and Glover. And Glover was able to kick his leg pretty decisively. Uh, and then there was uh, the other fight that there's a couple of other fights, but he's able to be kicked even as a southpaw, and that's where he needs to be careful. So I think Jamal Hill. I'm a fan. Actually, I kind of do like those two tattoos on his uh, on his chest too. There's something like <laughs> <laughs> there's something cool. There. I, don't, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm cringing myself, dude. So I enjoy shit that's just different. I, I, so Jamal I, I, Hill. I give Shut you fucking five stars for that reason, man. I'm going up, for you. You give him two Hell thumbs yeah, up. yeah, dude. I like it, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think, I think it's I, funny. I like I, him, too. I, I think the key to victory for him is he needs to go in there and really take... His straight punches are no joke. Jamal's yes. straight yes, punches Jamal. And, and, and his athleticism of going out there and just... Like as you said before, Kamaru, his confidence of him going out there and going for a bug. You know what? I, I believe in these, mm -hmm. and I believe that. I wish he could carry on a little bit more of that wrestling because we saw in the past Pereira could get taken down by yes. pretty much by by if you if you get taken taken down by grapplers like uh, like just you know he's been taken down by Israel Asanya he's been taken down by Yuri Prohachka and these are guys that are not known for that if Jamal Hill was able to add that it would definitely change the fight but I do believe when he says he's going to keep it on his feet and if he's going to keep it on his feet then he's going to have to really protect that lead leg be careful with that left hook. But really take your take your chances early because as you saw before, and you mentioned it too before, Kamaru, Israel Adesanya has already proven it. So for that reason, the, the keys to victory for a guy like Jamal Hill, him being the underdog, is going to be his straight punches, but also doing it extremely early. I'm not talking about like the first minute of round one. Well, I, I, I like these fights. I think, uh, but it's for me, it's still too early. Yeah, it's a week of the fight, but it's still too early for me to... To give my predictions, let's see how I, 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 you know, let's see how I feel when I see the guys walk up. I see the guys sign the posters. 
Then I know if somebody's been cutting a little too much weight, if they're shaky by the 10th, you know, by the 50th poster, if they're getting a little too shaky, then I know, you know, he might not be ready for the fight. Damn. You know, so let's, let's, I'm going to wait till early in the week before I can make my prediction. But this is an, incre it's, it's an incredible fight. I still do feel for selfish purposes that Justin Gaethje probably should have been the main event. But. No, 100%. I agree this with you. Is, this is an incredible fight. They this is for the light fight. heavyweight ch championship. This is both two champions fighting each other, you know, who didn't lose the belt. So, I, I, I mean, obviously it makes sense. It makes sense for the UFC. I'm good with it. Makes sense for me, but I like well, Justin Gaethje. Well, I tell you what, dude. UFC 300 is going to be a banger. Dana White, yeah. Sean Shelby, Mick Maynard, everybody has put on a great event. I mean, from the first start, from the first fight of having Devin Figueredo versus Cody Garbrandt to the BMF to you know what I mean to Holly Holmes versus versus uh, Kayla Harrison. I mean, you know what I mean. Like this, this this card is absolutely flooded. Um, I, the only thing I got to say, Kamara, is get your damn pay per view. And we're not even getting any points for this, but you guys make sure to watch the damn fight. Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys just watched another episode of Pound for Pound. I'm your co-host, Henry Sudo, a.k.a. Triple C. And the Nigerian Nightmare, Kamaru Usman. You should not fight. Come on. Damn. What's up? What's yeah. up? We out. Yeah, we out.